Hello and welcome back again to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and today we're going to talk about con more converting and this time we're going to convert between moles and molecules and atoms. So we're looking at how the mole relates to molecules and how that same value relates to atoms. So let's look at converting moles and atoms. So here we have a basic converting molecules to moles problem. And the question is very simply, how many moles of ammonia are in 9.03 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of ammonia? Now we remember from previous videos when we looked at the mole, we know that the mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules or atoms or particles or bits and pieces, grains of sand, whatever it may be. One mole always equals the same value, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And that's 602 hexillion. So that's quite a lot of molecules sitting in that pile of ammonia, or in this case it might be a gas chamber of ammonia. But what we're trying to find is how many moles will that many molecules represent. And so what we will do is we will look at that original value, which is the 9.03 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of ammonia. And we are going to multiply by 1 mole, because that is what we want to find out how many moles of ammonia we have. And we are going to divide by Avogadro's value of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. The 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules goes in the denominator because we are canceling the unit molecules. And we are going to end up with this unit from the top moles as our units. When we do this division, 9.03 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, we end up with a value of 1.50 moles of NH3. Now it's 1.50 because our original question has 9.03, three significant digits, and since this is multiplication, we need three significant digits in our answer. So that comes out to 1.50 moles of ammonia. So let's take a look at the reverse of that process, and this time we're converting moles to molecules. So how many molecules of ammonia are in 3.5 moles of ammonia? So how are we going to approach this? Well what we're going to start by looking at is that 3.5 moles of ammonia, NH3, and we again are going to multiply and when we multiply we're going to multiply this time by Avogadro's number because we want molecules as our final solution. We are going to divide by the one mole because we are canceling the mole unit, so the one mole of NH3 goes on the bottom. We are reminded again that one mole always equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, atoms, particles, but in this case it is molecules. And when we multiply, we're multiplying 3.5 times the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. We are dividing by 1, and that value comes out to 2.1 times 10 to the 24th molecules of NH3. I think it comes out to 2.107, but because we have two significant digits in the question, we are going to have two significant digits in our answer. So we've looked at how to convert molecules to moles and how to convert moles to molecules, but what about if we're looking at the atoms? So let's look at this process here. So we are converting moles to atoms, and we're going to use that same question, but instead of molecules, we're going to say how many atoms of hydrogen are in 3.5 moles of ammonia. So when we do that calculation, just as we did before, we're doing 3.5 moles of ammonia. We're converting to molecules using the mole conversion factor, and we end up with 2.1 times 10 to the 24th molecules of ammonia. We're going to take that answer, the 2.1 times 10 to the 24th molecules of ammonia, and we are going to divide by a value of one molecule of ammonia. Now, in one molecule of ammonia, we have 
three atoms of hydrogen. And remember, our question said how many atoms of hydrogen. So this allows us to cancel the molecule unit, and we'll end up with an answer in atoms. So when we take 2.1 times 10 to the 24th and multiply it by the three atoms, we end up with 6.3 times 10 to the 24th atoms of hydrogen. So now we've looked at how to convert moles to molecules, molecules to moles, and moles to atoms. In each case, we are simply doing dimensional analysis using conversion factors to convert to the unit we want and dividing by the unit we're trying to cancel. So keep working on your chemistry, and it is all that matters.